Welcome to the Final Expense Sales Academy, the hub for mastering the art of final expense life insurance sales. If you're looking to become a pro in the final expense industry, you're in the right place. My name is Kyle Williams, and I'm your host to go through the ins and outs of the final expense business from tips to tricks to industry insights. We cover everything you need to close deals with confidence, provide true value to your clients, and become a better insurance agent. So hit that subscribe button. Let's get started on elevating your sales game one video at a time. Hey guys, in this episode, we're going to talk about do you need to form an LLC for your final expense life insurance business? So the short answer is, is it really depends on where you are in your business. And not everybody needs to have an LLC or an agency that they need to form uh, for their business. Uh, most agents create the LLC for a tax benefit. That is the main primary reason why agents do it, to help alleviate some tax burden Um since we are all sole proprietors on the tax code when you sign up as a 1099 producer. So to start off with, I will lead with this. Make sure you consult with your with your accountant uh, before doing any of this and make sure that what you're doing is the best thing that would be the best thing for you in your situation. But what I'm sharing here is just are just some things that I've learned in my process of what I have done for my business. So one of the things is is once you start making close to six figures, it is probably a good idea to start thinking about this because now you can start using some of the benefits of the LLC to help save on some taxes. So in order to see the benefits of it, you have to file as uh, to be treated as an S corporation. So, and it has to be done at a certain time of the year. Again, check with your accountant on this because they are the experts in the matter. So the benefit of the LLC and being treated as an S corporation on the tax side is you save on the self-employment tax. So the self-employment tax is 15.3%. And when you work at a W-2 job, uh, the taxes that they take out of your check is half of that, so 7.15%. So you pay 7.15%, and then the... um, the employer pays the other half and this is on the federal level so um, when you're self-employed you have to pay it all because you are the employer and the employee so when you have the LLC and you, you treat it as an S corporation it caps the amount of self-employment tax on the salary that is set so let me give an example let's say your business shows an income of a hundred thousand uh, dollars at the end of the year and your salary is $30,000 that you have set up for yourself. And so you're only going to pay the self-employment tax on the $30,000, not the whole $100,000. Uh, it's just ordinary income tax above whatever the salary is. So that it, when you factor the difference in, that's a, nearly a, a, a difference in nearly $10,000 in tax savings that you have by just having the S Corporation in place for your LLC. So... By having the LLC and filing sub S, the only savings that you're having on your taxes is the self-employment tax. There's there's really no other taxes savings there um, unless there's some state-specific uh, tax codes. There's also some business uh, benefits as well. Check with your accountant. They know all of the of the savings and the benefits of having that and i'll always consult with them before you make any move because uh, you don't want to watch a video and take somebody's full advice on things you want to make sure that that the move you're making is the best benefit of you but the biggest tax savings is on the self-employment tax so um i always recommend whenever you are self-employed that you do have a good accountant in your in your background that's working with you to help make sure that you're being taxed at a, a very efficient rate and you're not overpaying in taxes and try to save as much money as you can. So by doing all this, if you do decide to do this, your tax bill will go up, but usually the net savings are better uh, than versus just paying the tax itself. So you'll still come out better. So uh, if you have any questions on this video, be sure to comment below. Be sure to subscribe to catch all our latest content. Uh, if you receive something valuable in this episode, be sure to share it with your friends, share it on social media, and uh, we look forward to seeing the next episode.